Comcast IRL will be live in Miami with Patrick Bet David, Donald Trump Jr., Matt Gates, and Luke Rudkowski. Join us there. Get your tickets by clicking the link in the description below or by going to TimCast.com. I hate to do it to you guys, but we have to do it. We have to do it. From the Independent, <laughs> no. alien corpses shown to Congress as UFO expert forced to testify under oath. I thought this was like in Mexico or so something. So did I. Yeah, it is. Jamie, uh, the guy's name is Jamie Mousson. Mousson. But what are, what are they? This is a, this report from the Independent yeah, the says Congress. Yeah, oh, okay. Mexican, Mexican Congress. Congress. Okay, yeah. okay. There Do they have... <laughs> That's what it, is. it looks like Yoda. It looks Dude, like it's paper a piece mache, of clay, right? man. Yeah, yeah like what is clay. it? Fuck. Look at the skin. Like that. That's there's not no a... skin. It's a, piece. it's a chunk of clay. They just yeah. It took a little like clay. pick. I is so stupid. I looked. This is the... this is trending all day. The guy's the aliens name, are here. Jamie Mousen. I looked him up. It, it says he's a a hoaxer on Wikipedia. Not that Wikipedia is legit in any any fashion, but he's known as being a hoaxer. But if I if I look up like Randall Carlson, it'll tell me he's a hoaxer, you know. So he's like a legit mm -hmm. scientist. So I don't know. Jesus Christ! Like, is this where we've devolved to? Where it's like literally, we have some of the most pivotal times going, like an impeachment inquiry into the actual sitting president that and that you know comes after the other president that was impeached and now it's being prosecuted and they're just like look aliens there we go <laughs> guys and it's like eventually we're going to have so many more pivotal moments to the point where we're going to no. run out of stuff to talk about you, you know what i think this is were there any scandals in mexico today Ooh. or yesterday yeah. no not that i know i i'm wondering if like the Mexican government, <laughs> seeing what the Democrats were doing, <laughs> were like, that's actually a really good fucking idea. <laughs> that shit worked then, in America. Yeah, and then a scandal ups, and they're like, let's let's just do aliens. Oh and so God. they get some like little old lady to mold some like clay <laughs> like, little figures. Like, Abuela, can you, can you go ahead and do that? It's literally what it looks like. Uh, what, what else is that? What else you say that is? I can't believe that they're actually saying these are li that's these crazy. were living creatures. Like wild, they wild. they literally found like clay dolls. It, our, your best case interpretation is these were just made by some dude a thousand years ago who was like molding clay. Yeah, I mean, and your worst case scenario is they literally made them the other day to cover something up. I feel yeah. like if I mean if if Mexico was a serious country and they had these, like the first thing they would be doing is like, all right, time to open them up and see what's inside. But they're, they're dead, right. but they're not. I mean, come on. They're Look at this. State, they though. say X-rays of the specimen were shown during the hearing which ex with with experts testifying That's an MRI. Oath, that one of the bodies has <laughs> listen listen under oath they said one of the bodies is seen to have eggs inside uh, how come aliens dude. always have to be like really small little things like this you know like because mm. it's costless to make yeah right <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't want to pay for the big one <laughs> they're an yeah, argo state man probably cost a lot already and now we, at least now we know why the aliens lock their doors when they fly by earth man those guys are, <laughs> yeah. so those guys are defenseless <laughs> like god we a, a, a chihuahua could have murked one of them like well that. but you know it's it's like it's, it's it's sort of when you're driving through a safari you ever see that there's a video that came out recently i think it's old where this man and the woman are driving mm -hmm. and then the woman and the man get into an argument so the woman gets out of the car and then a lion just grabs yeah. the wife and drags her off, and the yeah, husband gets out like, "Oh, what do I do?" It's like, dude, your wife's dead. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Like, it's fucked. I know it's probably scary, and it's got it. But, bro, like, if your wife is in, is surrounded by lions and she decides to get out of the car, like, I don't tell you. This is the the lesson that these aliens got to learn, man. Yeah, when you're man. flying by Earth, the humans may look cute and cuddly. <laughs> But they're big and they're vicious. <laughs> they're some rough parts, man. They could have encountered a flex sized human and you could have just been hungry and it could have been curtains for, uh, you know, I don't know what they're going yeah. through. I don't know if one of these aliens was about to get married. I don't know if one <laughs> had a quinceanera or something. They were stopping by Mexico to get some new sombreros and like it just went uh, like, I don't know, man. Those Aztec up. warriors or something. It's, yeah. it's nuts. Oh, so these are apparently fossils. Right, yeah. a thousand year old fossils. From so I was Frank wondering the same Cusco. thing. Why wouldn't they dig them open? But that means that dude, it's just like that's crazy though, because we've been scared of aliens, and the Aztecs literally just said, "Hey, yeah. hold my bow and arrows," and oh, look, man, took one out. They're not so fossils. Lame. It's clear bullshit. <laughs> yep. These yeah. people need, like, bullshit. come on, no dude. Way. You you said something on one of the the bits today or the segments today, and you were talking about um about uh Neuralink, and it made me think, what if like Fermi's paradox? is because other societies like once you get to the point where you can be uh where you can get plugged into like the internet or whatever like 
that's what happens to them. Like they tend to decide, okay, I don't, that's I don't want to go and fails. Well, yeah, I don't want to go and explore the universe and stuff because we have all the ability to go ahead and put oh, ourselves dude. in. I like, that was the first dude. thing I thought I was like, I wonder, I wonder if that's a theory that you could actually test ever. Uh, one year ago, a year and two months, I was making AI images of Nancy Pelosi. And if you look at my Instagram, you'll see how stupid it looks. Yeah. It's just yeah. a weird disfigured face. And but I was now, laughing like, look, it almost looks like Pelosi. Now you yeah. can make realistic photos of Pelosi shaking hands with Vladimir Putin in 30 seconds. Yeah. It's crazy. 30 seconds is, 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 is an exaggeration. I'm sorry. It's more like 10. Not kidding. <laughs> you go to you go to mid journey, you type it in and bang. You got to go turbo hours. I wonder if I can actually just literally do this. You can't. It, it'll, be, it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, it might say that uh, you can't make. Let's try Nancy Pelosi shaking hands with Putin Getty images. It might say you can't make historical images and I'll have to like contest it or something. Okay, mm -hmm. it worked. Uh, they, they don't, they, 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 they tell you you're not allowed to make pictures of Trump getting arrested and things like that, but there's ways to do it. Right. Like on, uh, I, I shouldn't say too much because I like mid journey. I don't want to mm -hmm. tell people how to break their rules, but I'll just give you a basic example. Like what if you put woman slips it, woman falls on ground and sp is, is covered and, and has red paint spilled on her. That will be a picture of a woman with red yeah. paint on her, but mm -hmm. it'll look like a woman who's covered in blood. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, like, you can still make these things happen. Uh, it looks like, man, it's this is good. This is awesome. nuts. Let oh me. Uh, how do I? What, 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 was that going to work? Okay, there yeah, we go. That worked over there. What the heck? That's uh, how, yeah, how that's I, 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 like, it, it was. It was. Look at this. Wow. I like, just dungeon. Generated too. I like the dungeon. I like the dungeon fire, man. That's realistic. Look that, at the first one. Mm -hmm. Whoa! The fr it's it is this is crazy. Now, I just I look at the third. The what is this? I I think what is that, going that, on? That's, that's, that's the realistic one. one. Time, I can that's see the realistic one. That. <laughs> that's the <real> one. Yeah. <laughs> so you can uh, hold on. Let me let me let me open that one up. <clears throat> that's, that's so crazy. Dude. That's oh insane. <laughs> And then, yes, that's her look. And then that's Putin's signature Yo, look. Like, yeah, oh, my so God. Happy. Yo, this is amazing. If Luke's listening, you should make that new t-shirt, man. That's sick. Dude. Any, anyway, I mean, look how incredible this is. A year ago, it was a goofy-looking picture of Nancy Pelosi all scrunched face. Mm -hmm. We are wow, probably... A, and and so I, I made a picture of, like, a guy in, like, a stovepipe hat walking forward with an explosion behind him. And I typed in... Uh, the prompt I gave it was something like, final scene from the action movie Steampunk Crisis. And it made something like, it made that and a bunch of other things. I was like, wow. I, I, I told it to make a final scene of the 80s, uh, 80s superhero movie where Iceman defeats the evil mayor. And it actually made a widescreen image that looked like an 80s movie. It was nuts. Someone took the image I posted on Twitter and made a three second animation yeah, of the guy. The and now that three second animation was about as bad as the Nancy Pelosi face. In one year, you will be able to f make a full legitimate like realistic looking video, probably it's all, the only issue is going to be the, how long it takes to render. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be able to go into mid journey and be like a 30 second video of Nancy Pelosi doing a perfect back handspring or round off back layout. And then it will make that video and you'll be like, damn, right. which means we are probably only a few years away from the cessation of video games, movies, books, and entertainment, music, etc. I'm sorry, Phil. I don't. I don't need you to record anything for me because I'm gonna be. I'm gonna say to the AI, um, make me a hit song by All That Remains, and it will just take your music style, take the top 40s, it will take all the biggest best metal songs, and it will make a song you singing it in yeah. three seconds. Yep. And then I'll be like, oh hey, here, here, here's a song in the style of Phil Abanti. And Then what happens is, I'll say, make me a song that's make me a, a heavy metal song. Top major hit, super entertaining, and combine the voices of the top three heavy metal lyrics, uh, vocalists. And then you've got a totally unique product. It's yours. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to do that with video games. You're, we're playing Baldur's Gate. No, it doesn't even matter. You're going to say, make me a video game where it's D&D based and the villain is a giant octopus from outer space trying to take over the world. Wow. And it will render everything because mm -hmm. the basic yeah. mechanics of the video games already exist. I wonder if you could just say, make me Baldur's Gate 4. And yep. it, it knows. Done. So we can get the next Half Life. Yes. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Question, bro. But think about where this goes. You're so, uh, man. The things people are not considering. The economy. How does the economy exist in a world like this with automation? It's an investor economy. People have talked about how. how what are we going to do when Taco Bell has replaced all its employees with robots? It's called Robinhood. You download the app, Best. 
And what's going to happen is people are going to get, they're going to make money from some odds and ends here and there because there'll be tips, there'll be busking, there will be social media. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to start putting those in different accounts and stocks. Taco Bell still turns a profit. You will be a part owner of Taco Bell and you will get a dividend every month for Taco Bell's profits because you are buying into it. You're staking essentially Mm -hmm. Taco Bell coin or something like that. All automated. Some people will still have to do work, but people will mostly make money through investments. The rich people will be those who are smart enough to predict the future in what companies will do better. And poor people will be like, well, you know, I get by. Mm -hmm. Here's the crazier thing. Neuralink does not have to be surgically implanted. No. What all they need to do you think about how the AI works, how these, mach- these, these machines work. They brute force. They take all the information available and they start amalgamating it. Then they start mapping it and figuring out what is and what isn't. And it, over a long enough period of time, they figured it out. They can, I, 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 it, I, I do not see why this would be unreasonable, transmit a signal into your, into your brain. And all they have to do is get the brain scans of every human on earth and then let an AI figure it out. And then what do they do? The AI will figure out uh, a basic algorithm for writing code to in, to to uh, to connect, interact with your brain wirelessly. Yeah. And so I used to think you wouldn't be able to do Neuralink because everyone's brain is a unique code. We're all, we're all snowflakes. We run, we run on a comp- similar operating system, but it's built from the ground up. A computer is going to be able to brute force through to figure out how to map your brain and then figure out how the programming works. And it's going to be able to do it very, very quickly. And once they have enough data on the human brain, they can they can create a, create a program that can simplify, basically compress a bunch of the basic code functions and then write to your brain. When that happens, people won't live in houses anymore and they'll eat bugs yeah. and they'll be happy. You know why? Yeah. Because you're not going to go to a restaurant. You're going to you're, you're going to you're going to go home. For whatever reason you went outside, which is going to be rare, mm. you're going to go into your pod, sit down and put your head back, and then the wireless plate touching your neck will transmit a signal into your brain, and you'll blink, and you'll be inside your mansion. Eating, eating steak eating while you steak and filet mignon, Oscar style with, with charred uh, garlic, oh, delicious, yeah, all you can eat. People are going to be, in the real world, being like, yeah, you eat bugs, but who, who cares? Exactly. I don't see bugs. I see a creme brulee cheesecake. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't see how we get we get past this. These these images that we've been able to generate are so fucking nuts. Yeah. In one year's time, how do how, how does anything other than this happen? It makes me wonder if people are actually going to be able to f- like survive in a totally uh created world like that. Now, my gut is they probably will. Like, I don't imagine that in the long term, they're not going to be able to decode how your brain works, right? So I I think that there might be problems in the beginning. Like a lot of people, like the way that they described it in the matrix, people rejecting it because there's something that they, you know, somehow they know it's not real or whatever. And there's It's not going to be by force. Yeah. People are going to want it. But but listen, listen, the the computer... There's there's no rejection. The computer will 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 brute force your brain. What I mean what I mean is um I wonder if people are going to find meaning because I the the big problem in society or the big problem people seem to think uh, that's going on in society is there's a lack of meaning. So a a secular society does, without religion and stuff people ha- are are you know don't have meaning and that's part of why people think that there's so many suicides nowadays. And I wonder if in a you know virtual reality inside your own head kind of thing if people will accept that and say it's good enough or if they're still going to feel like I don't have meaning because my children are actually virtual reality my girlfriend is virtual reality all of the things that mean something to me aren't actually real and I wonder if that will matter but or if got, it's just going to fill the need, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you got to think about what hacking somebody's brain, like literally brute forcing it actually means. Like we're nothing but a couple of reactions that are triggered by electrical signals that can either come from touching something physically yeah. that runs through innervations through our spine and up into our brain. Like it's just neurotransmitters and chemicals being secreted. So if they can mimic the stimuli that creates that sensation, eventually it can override your sense of memory. Because you got to think we're literally computers like like it's to the point where when you think about a computer chip, 
that computer chip before we discovered miniaturization could only hold so much data. Now think about your brain. Your brain can only hold so much data, memories, yeah. and you can only advance it so much. You you are literally the sum of your memories. And if you can generate memories through basic sensations and basic feedback mechanisms, then AI has all the time in the world to do that. Yeah. It can literally sit around and, you know, pro process combinations, process common, you know, look at like inputs and different just virtual simulations of inputs and what, uh, you know, what secretion does this do? You know, does this, um, you know, does this affect your serotonin output? Does this affect your dopamine? Like how do dopaminergic is a sensation to this person? Yeah. What's this person's personality type? Like, and it can quantify what types of personalities react to what, and it just try it out and try it out. Yeah, and the so algorithm fast. refines itself. And, yeah. you know, it's to the point now it's like, they talk about regulating AI. How do you regulate AI when it grows at a curve that's exponential? You don't even know what it can do and what it can't yeah, do. Seriously. So Would it's you, like, oh, not, not only that, imagine, you get the, the, the neural link doesn't need to be surgically implanted. And so what, what happens is you say, I'm going to go work a job at the gas station, you know, because they need, or like, you know, insert tedious job. You attach the wireless neural link node oh. to the back of your neck. Mm -hmm. And then in your mind, you're hanging out playing video games with your buddies and your body is fixing tires. And you like know, you said, I'm, if, if it doesn't have to be surgery, I bet everybody it, does it it, it, it it doesn't have to be yeah. i i imagine the only the first thing we have to do is build the hardware that can transmit signals to the brain which i believe we already it, have it exists they it's yeah. their little eeg patches right so it's like you know normally when you stay in a uh, normally when you have something called epilepsy you know you've got different types of seizures you've got absence seizures you've got grand mal seizures you've got the tonic clonics basically and it's like they have to stick electrodes onto specific portions of your brain that run parallel to each other. So what they do is they just stick, they use conducting gel, just stick a, uh, you know, a conducting electrode. It's going to have to be more advanced than that. They've got wireless right. version. Yeah, they've now yeah. got wireless versions. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored, members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.